This conference will now be recorded. Hey, hello, everyone. So, very good morning to all. In last session, we discussed about margins and borders and paddings. I believe, right? So let us talk about the alignments. How can we align the items or elements side by side? By default, we know that every element will be aligned vertically and the position left side. No, I want to make the elements completely right side or I want to make them into middle or I want to make them all the elements side by side. How can we make them side by side? Right. So let us go for a small design here so that we will get a clarity what exactly we have to implement here. Let me open one of our file. So let me copy the code and create a new file. Alignments.html is my file name. So how we can align the items side by side that we can see here. Now can we see? I have a title so and some description. Let me do one thing. Let me take this as a H4 as a description. This is also H4 as a description. Now you can see paragraph. Some description will come here. Okay. So let me do one thing. Let me have four blocks like this. Three are okay, at least three. Can you see now by default these blocks will be aligned side by side? Right, you can go and check this. Let me run the file. If you can check them, they are aligned one by one. Now you can see this is the box one, box two, box three. They are all aligned vertically, position left side. Okay. I want to make them side by side. Okay, anyhow, let me do some design here. I'm writing some box, okay? And this is a box uh, border. Let me have some border. One pixel solid red, okay? Now you can see, right? One property, see the output. Border is full width by default, right? I don't want to make full width. I want to make some width of a border is going to be 200 pixels width. Now you can check this. Width of every box is going to be 200 and 200 and 200. So if you don't like this, yeah, we can adjust this also, right? Let us see now my border is going to be something perfect Now I want to make all these three boxes side by side now So you can take 300 or 400 whatever you want you can take them no problem now You can see this is the content exactly and one one more thing I want to do Whatever the text you have in the box. I want to make the text into center of the box exactly to adjust the text into the center of the box we have a property called text align is the property by using this text align property we can make the element we can make all the see you are applying text align center to the parent if you can apply to the parent who are all in the child automatically they will be center aligned now you can see all the text is center now perfect okay this is okay now i want to make the three boxes side by side one two three something like this horizontally so there i am using one property guys try to see the property is going to be flo80 float is a property float left now you can see one element now you can see how they are aligned together is the property float left you can make it as a float right r-i-g-h-t the content will come from right side now you can see the so refresh the page the content will be adjusted from right side you want to have one clarity. This is one. This is a two. This is three. Now you can see how the elements are going to be adjusted properly. Now you can see the SS one is coming this side. Actually, if you are not writing anything, who is first actually? CSS one is the first one. Because of writing this float right property, the first element is starting, first element and second element. Can you see this order it is getting there? Write it to left order so if it is a fourth left property we don't have anything left side content will be adjusted and if you can refresh the page this is exactly the content was replaces now you can also do one more thing here i want to keep an image here 
okay let me do an image img src equal to i think we have already some images in the folder uh, images folder so slash i want to take uh, 02.png yeah i have a file with name 02.png refresh the page yeah image is there i want to go with one more thing let us add one more image now you can see this is going to be one more image uh, here let me take this as a 03 and let me go and let me take this as a 04 exactly i'm going to take this as a 04.png perfect now you can check this i think all images are coming now the content is neatly displayed on the screen you want to take you can take one more box now i'm going to take box 4 also now copy the same content and i'm keeping here now you can see this is going to be 06 and this is going to be css4 title now refresh the page we are getting all the information like this right okay but you observe all the boxes are attached together there is no gap between the boxes then what we want to do right we need to maintain some gap see what is the width you provided you provided with 300 pixels do you know one more thing you can provide width in percentages also now i can see i'm providing 20 percent width i believe now you can see you will get the same story 20 percent width or else you want to take 22 percentage yeah you can take 22 percentage i mean each and every box is 22 percentage for example if you can take 25 you can see exactly 100 percent every box is 25 25 25 25 four 25 are 100 now you can see one box may be down why because a border is also added into the width so what is this why border is added then what is the width 25 percent 25 percent you provided border for all the four boxes all four sides right that will also add into the width it will cross us more than 100 that's why one box is coming downside so later we can talk about box model when i'm discussing the box model i will explain you very clearly what is the width you provided how the width will be affected because of adding margins and paddings and the borders we can talk about in box model there is a separate concept right so right now i'm taking this as a 22 percentage okay fine all are in one row now i want to maintain some gap between the boxes gap between the boxes so what is the property we have right i'm writing margin all four sides i'm writing 10 pixels gap all four sides if we can refresh now you can see there is a gap between the margin all four sides exactly now you if you want you can take a wrapper also here now what i can do you have four divisions right you have four divisions these are the four divisions let me add one wrapper let me take a do so i want to keep all these into a do do tag open do tag close i'm wrapping all these four divs into one more parent do okay this is the parent do for this parent do you want you can write a border or you won't write anything right let me write a class equal to blocks b l o c k s blocks i am taking my class as blocks you can take anything now you can see if you can write dot blocks now you can see i am writing some border b o r d r border one pixel solid red okay now you can check this around the box there you can see around the box do you see the border is applied all four sides no it is not applied all four sides do you observe or not okay i want to apply some background color also let me see let me apply background color uh, i'm just applying background color as hash red okay not hash you can take some hash d4 okay d3 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 now you can check this is that color is applied no is there anything wrong guys you can remove this float left property and you can try to see color is applied border is applied yeah color is applied and the outer border is also applied full width border is applied see i want to know the reason when i am using float left or float right why the parent property is not working do you understand guys what is the problem here so it's not working at all so what is the reason maybe so now you can see that's not working you can provide height for it it will work now you can provide height h a g h t height colon 300 pixels or 400 pixels if you can provide now you can see border is added background color is also added because of float left property this uh, background color and border everything was gone so let me have a one more property now i'm refreshing i don't have anything let me write a property called overflow auto a u t o auto i'm writing if you can refresh can you see 
if you are using float left property some problem is there i mean i cannot say that is a problem there is a default behavior of it so if you can use float left property who is the parent of the box blocks this is the box class right for this blocks we have a parent called blocks so if you are writing float left or float right for this box the parent properties are not applied to it do you remember right so the not all the properties only some properties may not be applied so now you you can want to take some padding also now you can take some padding 10 pixels i am taking now you can see inside the box there is some gap inside the box now i don't want to i don't need the border now you can remove the border i am removing the border for the box now you can check this if you can remove it was looks good right somewhat better than earlier right so now this is exactly the thing box and you here you can see for this also you don't want something yeah you can remove this also right background color okay i am removing this now you can check this this is going to be something like this can you see how we are aligning the blocks side by side generally this type of things we can see mostly in real time right every website may display this type of uh, applications right yeah nothing guys i want to make all this can you see here uh hedges cvc one something na covaxin covaxin all are aligned side by side how they are aligned side by side so definitely there are a lot of ways are there in css how we can make the items side by side first i take in only text of that i take in an image also if you want you can take a read more button just below the things also you can take it you don't want background color yeah you can remove the background color it's all about your requirement guys so what you want to make it that's our requirement if background color is not there i think overflow auto padding 10 pixels also not required maybe right okay but i want to add one property box shadow is a property guys try to see box shadow for the box so class is box you can take any class here no problem there is a property predefined property called box shadow now you can see box shadow having four values four values sir. i think this is going to be first one is going to be left right so i'm providing you some value five pixels left right uh, this is top bottom this is going to be the shadow the blurness of the box i'm going to make 10 pixels and fourth one is going to be the color of the box hash i'm taking d3 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 some color now you can refresh the page if you can refresh can you see guys how this was uh, coming there you can i think you are able to see some kind of a brick design it's to look like a bricks exactly a shadow you applied or else you can make one more thing this you can make it as a zero and this you can make it as a zero i think now you can see all four sides you can see somewhat proper manner yeah one pixel or one pixels also we can see all four sides so this is what exactly called shadow property it's look like a tile so a uh, frame or whatever it may be you can say so this is how we can apply all the properties this is just uh, aligning we started with aligner elements i aligned the elements properly but i want to make them beautiful to look right definitely we need to add some classes and we need to add something to it exactly guys so this is how the things will be work for you so this is the way of aligning the items side by side by using float left property so overflow auto is not required right now why because i don't have any background color here overflow auto what happened because of the float left property because of the float left property the background of the father will be gone background or anything you provided borders may not be applied that that is going to be i want to say overridden or something like yeah, removed simply says so if you want to bring back them you have to set it as a overflow auto to the parent not for the child so who is the father for this box blocks is the father so whose background color is missing to that property we have to write overflow auto when you are using float left property float left property if you are using some of the things will be gone for example now i am writing background color background is going to be hash ef 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 is a background color now you can check this background color is applied background is applied but is this is if you can remove this uh, overflow auto now you can see the problem where is the background color you are able to see the background color on the top can you see right 
it was not inside the box exactly it went something like this so in this point of time i want to keep overflow auto if you can keep overflow auto the things will be adjusted properly i mean the content in the parent box it may we increases it may be decreases i don't know right it will be adjusted automatically the height as per that height and the styles will be applied to the parent element if you are not writing overflow auto maybe it may not uh, give you the background color something but actually it is not required for us right now f1 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 if you can check this oh still we are having the same blocks color right so i don't want to make this let me remove the background i'm going to make something yeah this is enough guys no worries about it so just i'm giving you a high idea whenever there is a problem with float left sometimes you're applying background color you're applying borders it is not applying to the element sometimes you are writing outlines it may not apply to the elements because of the float left property if you are using float left property always it's a good idea to provide overflow to the parent element to whom you are providing float left who is the father of that element to that element you have to add the float left i think if you didn't if there is no background colors and borders and margins you don't worry about it float overflow property right so but the only thing this is required guys here right just keep it in mind very important for you guys right so the next thing guys here there is one more property called display now you can see the same design i want to align the items by using display property let us see how we can work with the display property now i'm copying the same and keep it here now same design and nothing right let us go with a property called alignments one dot html is a file i'm creating a file in file now you can see earlier we used float left property now let me remove the same design i'm going to remove this also nothing now you can execute this page nothing we cannot see anything uh we can see all the things in one line yeah where is the content all the things in one line right there is no textual and center and all we didn't provide anything and this was like this by default every element have a property called display block block in the sense uh block in the sense there will be vertical only there is a property called see i'm writing a property display none what is the meaning of display none see i have a property i have a class called box for how many elements the box class is there they are all going to be none means they are going to be hidden now you can refresh the page all are gone so the default value of this is going to be block only this is block block means it has to be displayed display none display block i want to click hide button if you want to click hide button display none if you want to click the show button display block simply says right so this is display block but by using this display block i want to align the items side by side same property float left we used items are aligned properly side by side and now i am going to use something called block is okay and there is a one more property called inline block so i want to make all the elements in the, into a line exactly so inline block now you can see exactly i'm adding inline block now you can see elements are adjusted side by side you didn't provide any height and width to it right let me provide some width the simple property guys here if you are using display property overflow is not required for the parent that will work automatically still i want to show you you can let me show you background color background i'm going to take it as a hash ef 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 is a background color refresh the page do you see the background color still there so you can write float left now you can see i'm going to take it as a float left property flot float left if you can apply you can see background color gone so if we can use display inline block we don't have any problem with the backgrounds this will works perfectly for us so in real time which property we can use sir we have later we will discuss one more concept called flex grid system so you can use flex you can use display you can use float any one of your choice completely so no one will ask you why did you use this why did you use that at the end of it ultimate goal of us is we have to deliver the output properly what are the wireframe what are the layout they're giving us as per the layout we have to deliver the output and we have to make it responsive you can use any of the property no one will question you no one will see your code why you written float left why you written display block no one will question us the ultimate goal is here how we are aligning the items side by side which property were flexible you can use that property 
right so this is display inline block now i'm able to see the things properly now let me provide some width to the element with the 20 percentage i'm taking 25 percentage earlier you provided now you can see i'm taking the 25 percentage one is coming outside because display inline block will by default come with some gap i will show you practically wait for a minute uh, let me take a border 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 one pixel solid red now you can see i'm writing float left you can see float left if you can write it can you see is there any gap between the box and box we don't have any gap between the box and box you want to take width also you can take width 23 percentage or somewhere around yeah so did you observe is there any gap between the box and box we don't have any gap between the box and box can you see now in this place i'm writing display inline block can you see by default it will provide some gap between the element and element so inline block now you can see i'm going to write something called inline block now can we see if you can refresh there you can see there is some gap between the element now so left side or right side whatever it may be for every element there is some gap i believe right side i believe right side of every element there is some gap but earlier you used that we didn't see anything right okay great so if you can write text align center now you can check this content will be centered text align center c e n t r center now you can check this it is going to be the center of the content same the box shadow property or whatever you want yes you can apply here there is a very big problem with this uh, display inline block what is the problem you know overflow auto we applied for fort left because of the background color is gone borders are not applying to the parent element that's fine so here also let me show you one small situation here for this i am going to add some extra content okay let me see i am going to add for this is the first para i am adding some extra content okay now you can refresh the page can you see what happened the height adjustments are not proper uh, sometimes what is going to be happen one element may have one more this element have two paragraph tags now you can check this now you can see how the content is adjusting here now here i have something called button okay you can if you can take a same content we don't have anything guys you have to take random content always then only you will understand how the design will be can we expect same design every time can we expect same size of content every time from the server definitely not so what you need to do in this point of time you have to make it properly so you have to understand real time every time definitely we cannot get the same content sometimes two lines sometimes three lines sometimes some other designs we may we get here right so this is exactly i'm right <clears throat> now you can see <clears throat> why the content is getting disturbed like this now earlier because we have same uh, equal uh, content we have so same copy pasted we did it right now in this point of time we got this problem so see we cannot do anything if content is getting adjusted that's not your your problem so you have to provide a proper way proper solution to the end users <clears throat> so content is adjusted like this so let us write one property here for the parent when you are using display inline block then only this property come into the picture if there is no display in line block and we don't want to use this property the property is going to be vertical align is the property i want to align the items vertically from top now you can see what is going to be happen exactly see the solution now you can see all the elements are adjusted on top properly now all the elements are adjusted on top properly so within the box i want to provide some padding yeah you can provide some padding also padding 10 pixels i'm providing within the box within the box now we can see there is some gap between the boxes and boxes but what we can do sir this height you can do anything that's not our duty right so you can tell them take equal content so some people they will ask us and some people will will they will be very clever what they will do they will add height height is going to be 300 pixels i'm providing you height now you can see all boxes are equal now all boxes are equal now you can make it as a 200 pixels now you can see everything is adjusted properly now but height is not a good solution you you can never use height property in real time do you know but if you want to create a responsive kind of web application seriously i'm saying you guys you are not going to use height property at any cost 
at any cost you are not going to use height property in response to kind of web designings so if it is a case see can you give me the guarantee are we going to get the same height every time so if content may increases may decreases then what you want what you want me to do then in this point of time so height is not the good solution guys okay now we can see i'm going to add one more paragraph here two more paragraph tags here now you can say i added five paragraph tags in one box can you see the content is overflowed out of the box can then will you write this overflow auto to this no it's not a good idea if you can write overflow auto here scroll bar will come to the content because now you can see okay let me write the same property see the problems here Oh, these are the some common problems where we can get in real time guys we have to fix them so how we can fix them so you have to know the problem and solution problem and solutions so then css will be easy so now you can see now you can see overflow auto content is increased so in this box also if content getting increases then overflow auto will be applied but it's not a good idea displaying scroll bar in the middle of a web page it's not a good idea so i don't want right height also i don't want to provide the content should be adjusted automatically but uh, on top my all my elements are aligned properly or else vertical align bottom now you can see bottom bottom now you can see this is a bottom alignment vertical align center let me go and something called center is a property now i am writing center refresh the page is it saved yeah file is saved but let it somewhat adjusted guys this is so by default vertical and center so now you can see vertical and middle m i d d l e middle let me try this property yeah sorry not center middle top bottom and middle is a property not center actually right so this is how the content will be adjusted but this is not a good way you have to align the items from top or either bottom 99 percent on top only we will never go with the bottom as well now you can see the content is adjusted like this so this is a good thing guys you have to use this property when content is content blocks are not adjusted properly then we can go for this vertical line top so when we can use this vertical line top whenever you are using display inline block if there is no display inline block i think we don't need to use this property here now i'm removing this display inline block now we can check this so what is the use of uh, writing vertical and top here when to use the property yeah this is the situation will tell us when to go for vertical align top if you can use display property then we can go for vertical align top for making the content adjustable properly guys right so this is how we can align the items side by side here i want to talk about one important concept guys here box model what is this box model for example i am providing you 25 percentage guys here 25 percentage width okay don't worry let us go and create a new file uh, let me talk about box model dot html is a new file okay i don't want to take these many boxes just to take two boxes for better understanding of this now i have two boxes let me take equal content in the two boxes okay so this is also equal content in the two boxes okay perfect guys i'm going to provide the width as a 50 percentage okay with the 50 percentage inline block vertical and top so padding is not required right now text line center is okay border is also not required and display inline block and uh, this is the blocks okay that's all guys now you can check this what i'm going to do text line center vertical and top display something okay run the file if you can run the file can we see is these elements are aligned properly i think you can read the border also b or d here border sorry one pixel solid if you are not providing any color by default black color will become solid i didn't provide any color right can you see only two values i provided now color you didn't provide yo actually i want to see these two elements side by side why they are coming one by one now you can reduce the width now you can see i am reducing this as a 49 percentage if you can reduce this 49 percentage now you can see they are adjusted properly right side if you can observe there is some gap left side there is no much gap there is no much gap so what shall we do in this point of time now i am going to make it as a 
blocks for this blocks i won't write text in center okay uh, blocks i'm just going to write a property text align center just i'm adding the property called text align center refresh the page now you can see content getting adjusted uh, left side and right side there is an equal gap completely but what is my problem here if i provide 50 percent box one and box one box two why they are coming side by side uh, sorry one by one now you can see this is 49 percentage i provided now you can see 50 percent if you can provide now you can see this is going gone this is coming like this no i don't want to make like this so now you you can do one more thing now you can provide some padding inside the box also 10 pixels i provided refresh the page now still they are they are not in side by side now you can see i'm reduced the i reduced the width let us reduce the width as 48 percentage now they are side by side why do you got any clarity here remember guys in a box model you know one thing in the browser also we can check box model press f12 if you can go to the element section you have to see at the bottom of the page can you see guys this is the box model i think you are able to see this is called box model what is this box model i want to know actually okay i will talk about don't worry what is the uh, for example, you can talk about in the pixels also. I'm taking this as a 600 pixels guys 600 pixels height uh, Width now you can see this is 600 pixels actually every box is 600 and 600 total 1200 pixels. Okay, fine Now I provided padding 10 pixel. Mm? I provided border 1 pixel you, you if you want you can provide margin also margin 10 pixels also i'm providing you now you can check this margin also you provided i mean the gap between so margin is okay no problem we can get the more gap now i'm removing the margin actually margin is not required don't worry right you can see this is the thing okay can you tell me what is the width i provided 600 right this is the 600 i provided try to see guys this is very important thing you provided 600 as the width actually to this border one pixel and uh, padding 10 pixels you provided right you can check this this is very important scenario these three will be added the not three the two border and uh, the thing are going to be added let me explain you very properly let me open paint so that it will be easy for us paint okay so we have a box let me take this is the box we are having one box what is the width we provided 600 pixels you provided exactly 600 do you know what is the border size one pixel border top one pixels all four sides one pixels you know? all four sides one pixels now you can see one pixel and you can see one pixel this is border now there is a padding also what is the padding 10 pixels right 10 pixels uh, left sorry padding is inside always now so now you can write inside only padding top this is also padding uh, this is also padding now you can write padding here also padding is inside on top also i'm adding the padding okay guys now you can see 10 10 guys i want to ask you to count all these values can you count these all these values 6 10 1 600 10 and 1 10 11 and 11 22 guys plus 600 622 is the width of it because in every width padding will be added margin will be added guys it won't add a top and bottom width is always horizontal right the horizontal dimensions only will be added on the thing now 10 plus 1 10 plus 1 22 and 600 622 is the width of the box i want to show you by pressing f12 you can see just go here now i'm just go and show you uh, this is the thing right you can see inspect this element now you can check this what is the width of the element can you see if i keep mouse here all right just you can keep the mouse i think you're able to see a tooltip on the box you're able to see now i don't know whether you are able to see or not the right side i'm uh, sorry left side i selected the element there is a small tool tip with the div dot box okay let me show you in the painter so let me paste here can you able to see here what are you able to see this is exactly i'm talking about what is the width of it the 622 it is showing you 
Why? Because 10 plus 1. I mean, so exactly you are writing 50%. Now, 50% means 22 pixels is adding again. So then what is going to be happen? That is going to become 52 percentage. It is crossing the border. So that's why one element is coming outside. One, I mean, the elements are coming downside automatically. So when we are talking about this thing, we need to consider border and paddings also. It's very important. So based on that borders and paddings, you have to calculate the width in a box model for the actual width border, sorry, border and padding will be includes into it. So padding all four sides 10 pixels, right? Border all four sides one pixels we provided. In this point of time, left right we have to take. If it is the height, then uh, you have to take top bottom. What is the height of this element? Can you tell me now? So I didn't set any height. For example, if we can set a height for it, for example, I'm setting height, height colon 200 pixels. Then what is the height of it? You know, 222 pixels. Why? Because top bottom 10. Now you can see the diagram. Then, so if we can check the height here, now you can see this is our diagram. So what is the height of the element here? Height of the element is going to be 200. Now this is height of the element is going to be 200 is the height of the element. So 200, 11, and 11. Total 222 is going to be the height of the element. So if you have, if you set any height, so for height also padding will be added, border will be added, as well as width padding and border will be margin won't added, guys. Margin doesn't add into the box model because margin is applying outside now so margin will never includes into your width of the element these are the things will be added into the width of the element okay now right so this is exactly a small uh, info about your box model okay now right guys thank you so tomorrow we will talk about menu items how can we create menus right drop down menus and how to align the menu items side by side logo and menu so left side logo right side menu there should be some drop down menu on click this on hover this i have to make some drop down let us see how can we work with the drop down menu so daily we are going to learn some new new properties my requirement is this for this what we need to write the property you should learn the css like this it will be easy for you and don't try to read the properties and don't try to remember all the things and all guys okay now right so inspect we will talk about after some time don't worry so in inspect uh, we will talk about all the things how we can edit the styles here so slowly i will tell you that okay so just you can habituate of uh, inspecting the elements why because if it is a javascript console is play a key role if it is a html and css this will be play a key role okay don't worry so maybe uh when we are completing the session early somewhere somewhere around definitely i will tell you maybe tomorrow or day after tomorrow don't worry about it definitely we can discuss about it how we can change the values how we can change the live preview and all we can change slowly you, you i think you will get habituated nothing so in the right side i have a docker this is called uh, inspect element docker if you can keep mouse here so it will show you what is the element and all guys right yeah we can talk about linear gradient radial gradient also in the upcoming sessions in css3 okay there's a part of css3 actually there we can see animations linear gradient radial gradient we can see that yeah guys then fine okay then so we can see tomorrow and tomorrow we can talk about menu items creation right so i will provide you an assignment tomorrow so that you have to complete that assignment i will do one menu creation you need to do one more menu creation okay right thank you then